Hi, welcome back. One of my earliest Power BI videos was how you can bring your SharePoint list data into Power BI Desktop, visualize the data, and then maybe publish it to the Power BI service for the, your users or customers. Now, Microsoft has made this experience much easier, and you can now create a Power BI report directly from your SharePoint list uh, with the new Power BI dropdown uh, options that uh, it's now embedded into SharePoint. Let's take a look how we can do that. So here we are again, back to our financial sample list on SharePoint. The way we used to visualize data before, uh, at least from SharePoint list, was you, you had to copy the, the root of the, of the SharePoint list and then go to Power BI Desktop, uh, select Get Data, so it goes find the, the option to, to bring the, the SharePoint list data in here from here, or SharePoint online list, and so on and so forth. And then you, you, you connect it to the root of the SharePoint site, uh, you selected your SharePoint list or lists, and um, you either brought them directly into the, the, the canvas or you went to the Power Query and did some changes. But there's another way, a new way, and this is much faster and much simpler actually, but it's not that customizable as this way. So let's see how that looks like. So back to the SharePoint list, uh, we have here at the top now a couple of uh, new options uh, next to automate and integrate. We have in this top down now the Power BI option. As you can see here, we can select visualize the list and below that it says that no reports are available. It says that because when we will create the report from the list, after we save it, you, you won't save it into any workspace. You will save it into this SharePoint list which means you cannot access that report from, from Power BI service. You can only access it, access it from um, this SharePoint list. So let's see how we can do that and select visualize the list. So it might ask you uh, at the beginning for uh, logging and so on and so forth for, for Power BI. Um, it asked me as well, but I wasn't recording. So yeah, keep that in mind. And as you can see here, it did some clever stuff by on it on its own. It it found some data that makes um, at least for for Power BI uh, AI sense, and put them together into a couple of um, visuals. As you can see here, we have the summary of units sold, summary of discounts. We have here some discounts by product and so on and so forth. If this data makes any sense or it's needed, it's open to debate, but. Uh, I think it's pretty cool that Power BI uh, did that in a couple of seconds from a SharePoint list. And as you can see here on the right hand side, these are my, um, my columns and this is the table, which is the SharePoint list financial sample. And we can change the view here um, as uh, accordingly to what we need. We can refresh here the visuals, not the data, the visuals. Um, and here we have the file where we can say the copy. We can publish to the list. This is pretty important because we, you cannot publish to a workspace you publish to the list and we can also edit this um, report which means if we select that it will ask you are you sure you want to switch to edit mode because you will lose access to the summarize pane um, yeah it doesn't matter for now let's select continue and as you can see we have the same view as we have in our power bi canvas uh, section maybe a little bit um, um, like a light version of this uh, view because it's it's missing a lot of uh, options that Power BI Desktop has here. But uh, we can still add text boxes, shapes. We have uh, different patterns we can integrate and use. We can uh, edit the um, interactions between the visualizations as well. Uh, here's the refresh button. We can duplicate this page and create multiple pages. As you can see here, this is only one page. And uh, we can we can use the, the visualizations that we have in our uh, Power BI desktop, and we can get more visuals from the marketplace as well, or import our own. And um, yeah, so as you can see here now, we have this one. So we can have another page, um, maybe bring in a pie, and select some data, for example, manager and uh, profit. Yeah, it's only me, of course. And um, let's change that. Maybe not manage any product and profit. Yeah, we can see here which product is more profitable. Huh? So if we now go back and select file and save this, we can name this as um, demo 
Power BI report. When you publish the report back to the list, everyone who has access to the list will be able to open it and see all the data you've shared in the report. This is how it works. So when you create a SharePoint site, you know that you're going to um, invite a couple of people to use those, that data and, and you have a list, for example, then you can go on and create a Power BI report from that list. So I think it's pretty cool, fast and, and simple. So you don't have to bother with all those um, uh, security features and, and questions in, in a Power BI uh, uh, service, uh, giving access to, to uh, separate people. So this, this eliminates all that uh, hassle. So now you just create the report, publish the list, and the people who view the list anyways can view the report as well. So let's select publish and see how that looks like. Okay, it says uh, it has been saved. We have now page one and page two. And if we go back to our SharePoint list, let's refresh the page to be sure, and select integrate and then Power BI. It says now demo Power BI report. It just populated that <laughs> empty space there. So I was uh, not sure if, <laughs> if we did everything right, but uh, it looks like we did. So now if you select demo Power BI report, it will bring us to, um, yeah, I would say it's 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 uh, a place in the Power BI service because it's still web based. It's not in the SharePoint list itself, but it starts from the SharePoint list and takes the credentials and all those people who are supposed to see it uh, with it, and opens a light version of Power BI service to to demonstrate this report. Since I saved on the second page, it will of course bring me always in the second page which is not very clever. Take, keep in mind to save your reports on the page you want it to open when the user selects open the, the, the report. And um, yeah, we're not going to go uh, in deeper into the visualizations uh, uh, of, of Power BI since that is the same in this case. Uh, this is just a short show, showcasing you how um, you can use Power BI reports in SharePoint lists and from a SharePoint list as well. Yeah, so I hope you liked it. I think it's pretty cool. It works um, very good. And uh, I imagine you can create here more, um, more, more visuals. And if you select now visualize the list again, let's see how this looks like. Yeah, it's the same. The, well, not the same, the same, but the same Power BI did on the first place. And if we select now edit, yeah, we will lose that. And select page two. And now instead of a pie, let's make um, uh, let's make let's make a table. Why not? Let's bring a table here with a bunch of data, like product, profit, sale price, and so on. And um, and country. Why not? Let's bring country at the top. We have country, product, let's bring the sale price, and then the profit. And we can see here a couple of those products are not profitable, but um, yeah, in overall we are in profit, which is good. So now, uh, as I mentioned before, let's make sure that we save on page one. Save this report. Let's call it um, demo. Power BI report to publish. And if we give it a couple of seconds, we might be able to see it in our SharePoint list. So if I now go to integrate Power BI, let's refresh again. And as you can see, we have now two Power BI reports that are in our SharePoint list. So you, you, you're not stuck with one. You can create uh, multiple uh, reports and name them, for example, manager. Uh, the other one will be for um, your project managers and so on and so forth, like uh, general information. One would, might be specific information. And whoever is viewing the data here anyways can jump into one of those reports, uh, click on that and take a look on the data from a completely other perspective. So no, not as it looks like here, but prettier from here. And as you can see, our second uh, uh, report we just opened 
it opened in this in, in, in page number one because we saved in page number one, which is a neat trick and um, yeah, something to keep an eye on. And this is our table we just created. Yeah, so I hope you liked it. If you did so, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe because there's more coming to it. And um, yeah, catch you on the next one. Bye.